So it's been a couple of months since I looked at one of these. I thought today we'd take a quick look at another action camera. Today, we're looking at the Wemius 4K Ultra HD Action Cam L1. Why am I looking at this? Because they sent it to me. To be entirely honest, I kind of like looking at these just to see sort of where the not big name brand companies are at this point and what sort of accessories they come with and everything. Because as you can see from the side very clearly here, there are lots and lots of accessories in this. And full disclosure, it's actually kind of nice to get one of these every so often to get just some more GoPro style mounts for my action cameras when I use them. Now for this one in particular, the specifications, it has Wi-Fi control. It does 4K at 24 frames a second. That's actually what I'm recording at right now, but it'll also do two and a half FK, 1080p 60, 1080p 30, and 120 FPS at 720. Has a 170 degree field of view, records in H.264. It can do time lapse and loop recording. Slow motion, again, we mentioned. It also does VGA at 240 if you want potato quality. Image size up to 20 megapixels, although I would guess that's probably interpolated. Timers and burst modes, and it says waterproof up to 30 meters, but if I had to guess, that's probably because it has a gigantic waterproof housing included. Let's not waste any more time. Let's open this up and check it out. And there it is, the Wemius, with a little box just filled to the brim with accessories. All those things we looked at earlier, a bunch of Velcro straps, bicycle mount. I've actually been getting a lot more use out of these little bike mounts recently. The clip-on not waterproof mount and then the belt clip for it. Just tons and tons of GoPro style mounts and clips and all of these things. You can see a full picture of all of it over on the Amazon listing or earlier on in the video. This one does come with two batteries. They're both 3.7 volt, 1000 milliamp hour, and they look a little bit different shape than any other one I've ever used, which kind of stinks, which means they're not interchangeable, but at least there are two of them. Some 3M sticky pads, zip ties, and a cleaning cloth books and paperwork and stuff, and interestingly enough, a little carrying pouch. Presumably to stick all of your GoPro mounts and stuff in. And maybe I missed it in amongst all of the lots of stuff in this little box. I don't see a charger in here anywhere. So presumably there'll be a micro USB port on this somewhere. But still, if you don't have a cable or a charger for it, hopefully I just missed it somewhere. Yeah, there's a cable. But that does go to show what happens when you include a few too many accessories. But that's the way that all these little action cameras do. And last, but hopefully not least, is the camera itself in its waterproof housing. This is a slightly different design from any other action camera that I've used so far. Got this plastic on the back will take off, plastic over the little lens housing, and of course it does come with this GoPro style mount on it. And then when you want to open it, it looks like there's a button here you pull down on and then click it open. Yeah, I was failing at that pretty hard. You pull down on this and then pull it back, so it just flips about like that and then open. That should have been a whole lot easier than it was, but I... I couldn't get it for some reason. So you got your waterproof housing and the Wemius 4K camera. Now this is a cube shape, some plastic over the lens here. There we go. And some plastic on the screen. You might wanna leave that on there. It's kind of like a screen protector, but it does have a pull tab. So I am gonna pull it. Here on the side, it says USB HD. Go ahead and open that up. There's the USB port, a micro HDMI, and then a micro SD card slot. Over on the other side, there's a little door. We'll go ahead and open that. And actually the entire door comes off, but there's a strap holding it in place. So presumably this is where the battery will go. Just pop it in like that, slide it back up. I see a little grill on this side, a little grill on the top, power button, record button, status LED, Wi-Fi button on the front, your Wemius 4K branding. You have your two inch LCD here on the back. And let's just see if it has any power. Well, it is powering on and it looks like it's got about two thirds battery in this one and it's counting time. It says UHD P24, which means it should be about to record in 4K 24P. The screen doesn't appear to be responsive in any way, so it's not a touch screen. Let's hit the Wi-Fi button on the front. It's going into Wi-Fi mode, and it gives some Wi-Fi access information there. Tap the power button, switched over to photo mode. Tap it again, it says no file, so that's playback mode. Tap it again, we're in the menu. So video resolution, you can see is set to 4K 24P. You can change that to two and a half K. 1080p 60, 1080p 30, 720p, all the way down to WVGA or VGA P240. Notice it's kind of hard to see the screen whenever I tilt it just a little bit. So basically it's either you can see it overhead or I can see it here. We'll stick with 4K though. You got loop recording, time-lapse recording, HDR settings on or off. We'll turn that on. Audio recording on or off, leave that on. Slow motion. You can turn it again, 72120 or VGA P240. Not sure why those are options as opposed to just leaving it in the video resolution menu, but to each their own. Date stamp, I'm gonna make sure that is off because I just don't care for that. Motion detection, on or off, gyroscope, image size, burst mode, timer, picture quality, set to fine by default. We'll set that to super fine. 
you know you want those super fine images. Sharpness is set to fine. You can turn it to soft or strong. We'll just leave that alone. Anti-shake is turned off. We'll leave that off as well. That's presumably a digital stabilizer. Exposure settings, white balance settings. You can change it to daylight, cloudy, tungsten, fluorescent, filters if you wanted to get fancy with it, black and white or sepia, 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 let me know. ISO settings, you can change the ISO if you don't want it to be automatic all the way up to 400. Beep sound, which we will turn off because, ugh, I hate that. Hat language, TV out settings, car DVR mode, fish eye set. There are lots of settings in here. Aqua mode, presumably if you're going to the aquarium or something, or if you're going underwater. Format your micro SD card, and yeah. Like you saw there, there's lots and lots of settings. And now we're back out to video mode. Now I do not have a micro SD card in here, so I should probably put one in. I also notice here on the front, we've got these three blue LEDs that have lit up. So presumably that means the Wi-Fi access point is on. But let me go ahead and grab a micro SD card and do some quick testing with this. And here's a very quick test of the 4K 24 frames per second mode of the Wemius 4K camera. I'm gonna see if it has any sort of handling noise as I move my hands around on it. The microphones, again, appear to be on either the top or the side, so I'm going to avoid touching those areas. But here we are just in my normal studio lighting setup, so very bright lights that work very well on camera. But we will test it out by walking to other areas of the house. Uh, the very brief test that I did with this just in my studio there, the audio sounded like it was quite a bit muffled, and that's kind of what you expect from an action camera. You're really more into the action camera for the, the, what you can accomplish with it, being able to take it anywhere with you and not tear everything up. So this is a dimly lit room that we're walking through right now. And again, we're walking, there's no stabilization turned on. So if it's shaky, that's why, but it feels pretty steady and stable in the hand. Here's another relatively dimly lit room. All the light in this room is coming from the windows you can see behind me there. But let's take a step out back, see what it looks like out here. Here's a bit of a look at the great outdoors. Looking at the back of the screen, everything looks like it's got kind of a bluish tint to it, even though it's auto color, so it should be fixing that. And here's what my face looks like on it outdoors in sort of a cloudy, overcast, rainy day. And uh, there's a little bit of a breeze blowing through, so you'll see if the audio gets changed in any way by the wind blowing across it. And we're back on the main camera. I pulled all the footage in from this and took a look at it, and I have to say I'm conflicted. The video quality, especially when in good lighting, looks very nice to me. I did have the HDR turned on, which probably helped just a little bit. And in low light, it's not as bad as it absolutely could be, but it's not technically 4K. At the 4K 24fps resolution, looking at it in my editor, it's 2880 by 2160. 4K is technically at least 3840 by 2160, and that's just not what you get out of this camera. The photos that I took with it look very decent. Again, they're not award-winning DSLR shots or anything. They're from an action camera. And it looks like it's basically just taking stills out of the video, which you would kind of expect. And looking at the stills, it's saying that they're 4032 by 3024. It's just that video resolution that's confusing me. 2880 by 2160. It doesn't really fit. It's almost a square. But the video you're seeing is not square. The audio is what you would expect it to be. It's an action camera. The audio is not going to be terribly good. I could hear what was being said. It sounded muffled and scratchy, but it was there. The waterproof casing did work. The microphones were all covered up so you couldn't hear anything that was being said, but I just took it and dropped it in the sink in there, let it sit for a few minutes, and it still continued to record and continued to work just fine. So to go ahead and wrap this up, take a look at the footage that I shot. Think about if you like the quality and if you like the look of the camera and all the accessories that come included, and think about if that's worth it to you or not. For me, for it to call itself 4K and not actually be 4K kind of bugs me, but other than that, I leave it up to you. Thanks again to We is for sending this camera out for me to take a look at. Just a reminder again, I did not pay for this camera. They sent it to me to take a look at. They're not paying me to make this video or anything. They're just, they provided the camera. Thanks again to you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, I hope you leave a thumbs up down below the video. It does mean a lot to me. It also means a lot if you subscribe to the channel so you get notified whenever I put out new videos because I do put out videos on a fairly regular basis. But I will see you again next time.